So I've got rules, I've always got rules, and I always suggest that you, you can break the rules, but the rules are there for a reason. Um, the cover is your first impression. So on Amazon, when you speak to somebody, when you walk around with your book, like a badge of honor, I have done that, um, then your cover is your first impression. So make sure it's a good one. And in my opinion, if you pay for anything in this pro in the process of writing a minimum valuable asset book, it's pay for the cover. It will repay you because the interior you can, um, with, the, with the suggestions I'm going to make to you today, you can manage the interior, but the cover, if you're not a designer, pay for it. And we're talking anywhere from about $200 up to about, well, you can pay up to a thousand, but you know, around 200 to 300 dollars. And I'm going to show you some ways of getting some really good cover designs done. I have a rule of three, not 17. <laughs> I have seen covers with 17. Let me show you a rule of three. What is it? I mean, it's an example. Um, so this is an example. This is a cover I designed. Uh, so rule of three picture, stuff at the top, stuff at the bottom, three things, just three things, not 17 things. Obviously, there are more things in the the things but those things are together in groups yeah so that's a rule of three um so it what i what stands in my my opinion what stands out a an amateur cover for a professional cover is too much stuff so if, if you're trying to get everything on then it, it, that just stands out a, 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 an amateur cover so rule of three just three things on there Back to the two font types rule, a title and a subtitle font, not 17 font types, just two font types, just be very simple and um, constrained in the fonts you use. Simple works best, seriously simple works best. If you look, and you're going to see some in a minute, some of the most striking covers are just words, just simple words. So don't have to have million images and stuff added on things, you can keep it very, very simple. And you can ask yourself this question when, and I'm going to show you some pictures in a minute. Um, when you see your cover, when you see your book, does it fit in? Do you want to fit into the category or do you want to stand out in the category? And that depends on your positioning, your branding, how you feel about your book and how you want people to feel about it. Do you want them to feel comfortable and your book has fitted into the category? Or do you want them to feel um pulled out of the, the cached thinking and you want to stand out of it 